Hi! <laughs> it has been so long since I've done a video and um, I basically want to do an introductory video to me again. I was so active on YouTube at one point of my life and it seemed as if, as if when life kind of changed for me, I moved, I got married, I had a baby, I got different jobs. I just left YouTube and stopped being as active on it. And it's sad because I really did enjoy doing the videos and I loved it more when everyone wasn't doing it. You know, when everybody had crappy cameras and they were grainy, I loved it. And <sighs> this video is basically gonna talk a little bit about why I've been gone and what I hope to do in the future. And I'm actually recording this right now on my um, <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> Um, so yeah, basically Clumps of Mascara has still been going on. It's almost been seven years and um, as you know, at one point Clumps of Mascara had a huge, huge focus on video and I don't do that anymore and I'll be honest with you, the main reason why I stopped is because I lost my confidence and it's just as simple as that. This is a very, very raw, honest answer. I stopped doing videos because I stopped feeling attractive and I got very intimidated by a lot of the guys and girls that were doing um, makeup videos and tutorials and whatnot. When I was doing them, it was fun. You know, I didn't always intend to have this Hollywood studio production and all the lights and cameras and flashiness. I just wanted to freaking apply lipstick and, eye and mascara and I wasn't perfect and I wasn't a makeup artist and I wasn't even a personality. I was just me and it was fun and I somewhere along the way my insecurity got in the way which is weird because I'm usually I like to consider myself a very confident person but my insecurity got in the way and I just got stumped and I stopped I said you know what my videos can't look like this vloggers and my voice doesn't sound like this and I don't have the super duper cameras as this person so why even try because hello they're better than me anyway and it's crazy you know it's it's crazy and it's sad how defeatist we can be how we can get in our own way and I did it for years you know for many years I just I stopped doing them you know one year I would do 15 videos and then I did 10 and then I did 7 and then I did 1 or 2 and now you know I think this might be my first video of, of the year and it's crazy because I still get messages from people, I still get comments on a lot of my videos, and people are like, where in the hell are you? Like, where have you been? What happened? We loved you. And I feel bad for kind of dumping the community that I created on YouTube. And then also, I, the whole Google Plus thing kind of screwed up communication on YouTube as well. So th the changes within myself and with YouTube, just all of it combined just made me feel really, really, really just um just screw YouTube and screw doing videos but I kind of want to make a comeback mainly because I was good at it you know <laughs> I look back at some of my old videos and I'm quirky and crazy and weird and I don't make much sense and I'm all over the place but I liked it you know I look at those videos I don't have any shame in how I how I acted and I thought it was fun and youthful and you know I'm I'm almost I'm 29 now so I started doing these videos when I was in my young 20s and I still feel that vigor I still feel that energy that energy and that silliness I, I still that still lives inside of me even though I'm a mom now and I'm a wife now and even though I'm like this totally professional responsible person I'm still that quirky girl and I want to bring that back mainly because I feel like I owe it to the people that supported me way back when but then also I miss it you know and yes I don't really have the best camera and my lighting is off and I don't have a super duper video camera and I don't have all of that but I do have myself and that's something that I bring and it's real you know and it just I can't I've got to stop getting in my own way and I think we as people we've got to stop doing it ourselves we do it all the time you know we get intimidated by what other people are doing but a lot of times you kind of really just have to center yourself and just focus on you focus on what you're doing everybody's on a different journey you know I don't know what the next guy and girl is doing all I can know and do is focus on me and you know I also have the issue of gaining weight you know I gained weight along the years as a lot of us do um and I just stopped feeling pretty in my videos I looked at them and I'd be like crap you know four or five years ago I felt a little like a like I didn't have as much of a double chin and I just looked a more attractive in my videos and I tried to do a video a couple weeks ago and I just felt fat and ugly and 
oh, that should not be the reason why I stopped doing videos. You know, like plenty of us are overweight and still fabulous and you can still be confident. You can still inspire despite the fact that you may feel a certain way. And, um, you know, also, shoot, like, yeah, I'm overweight, but I'm also a freaking runner. Like, how I feel on the, how I may look on the outside does not always determine my life. I am very healthy and even if I wasn't, even if I ate bonbons all day, bonbons are a snack, right? Even if I ate bonbons all day, I still have a voice and I still can share that voice and I can still inspire and encourage and make people laugh. So I'm going to challenge myself to do videos and not just these whole talking, talking about my life things because this is boring. Nobody really cares, but I'm going to make the effort to just be more confident. It's something I owe to myself. It's something I owe to you guys that have supported me for so many years. And, you know, it's fun. And I need to live a little and just put away the shame and, and you know, the because the, it's not me. I'm not used to feeling, oh, my God, I'm so shy. I'm not shy. I'm, I'm very, I like to consider myself confident. But I need to prove that to myself by doing more videos. So I didn't mean for this to be a six-minute song. I am a proponent of having videos way less, like five minutes tops. The whole six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes, that's just too much. So I apologize for this one being this long. But I just wanted to express to you guys that I'm going to make a comeback. <laughs> Again, my videos aren't going to be on some crazy, you know, uh, they're going to be real basic. But they're going to be real and they're going to be hopefully entertaining and maybe educational. But definitely entertaining. And, you know, I'll definitely try to spruce up the makeup bit too because I can't be like a beauty blogger and like looking like this. But I, I felt the need to say this right now and I had to just go with the flow because if I didn't, I wouldn't have. So, thanks again for the love and support and I hope I can make you proud. But more than anything, I hope I can make myself proud and prove to my daughter that you don't have to quit. Like there's no need to quit because I just, I don't want to be a quitter and I don't want to raise any quitters. So, I've got to do this for me and yeah for you. So, bye. I'll see you later. Like soon and not in 2020. <laughs> Wait, okay.